Welcome back, welcome back. Ah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the 25th, which is Christmas. It's way too damn early to be this happy, but you know what? I have to be, I have to be excited because these nails look crazy on this hand. They were such beautiful nails, but the hand ruined it. Alice, Alice's hang nails, ugh. But if you want to skip this little preview of our December mystery bag, you can. Um, nails start at seven minutes in, so go ahead, skip forward if you need to. But this is a swatch and a review of, not review, but a sneak peek preview, whatever you want to call it, of our December mystery bag. These go for $30 on criminalclaws.com. So check us out there. And yes. What we have here is failure to communicate. No, that was unicorn pigment. So that um, shimmers blue and pink in the light. And then here is our silver hollow glitter, which is chunky, fine, little in-between glitters. Here is our royal blue glitter. Um, you get six different nail art nail arts, um, pigments, glitters, jewels. You get six of those little jars like this. Here is our metallic blue chrome. Um, and then you get here are blue and purple gems and jewels, depending on the bag. Some come with gems and jewels, some come with charms. It's just a random choice. Here is uh, hollow iridescent glitters. So pretty, so pretty, Ay. <laughs> Okay, so you do get six little jars of different nail arts, and then you get one nail foil, Christmas themed. It'll have snowflakes, um, reindeers, leaves, you know, just Christmas designs. You will get one foil. Everybody's is at random. Yours may not look like this. So... You get the one foil and then everybody gets Mylar. So everybody gets six different themed nail arts. They go with the bag. You'll get pigments, glitters. They all match the bag. And then you will get this Mylar. You will get foil. You will get charms or gems. And then here is the acrylic. So you get in the December mystery bag. In the future, sometimes I do plan on adding five, just depending how I feel about whatever collection I'm adding, if it needs five. So here is Winter Wonder. This is the light baby blue color that is in the bag. Um, this is actually from our Candy Cane Kisses collection. This is the only acrylic in this bag that is actually from a different collection and put in with this collection also. The other three acrylics are just... Um, what would you say? They are specific to this collection for our December bag. Um, this is Baby It's Cold. That's this collection. The four together in this bag is called Baby It's Cold. Here is Nippy Night. This is our deep dark blue that I love so much. This blue is so pretty. Oh, and it is a super pigmented blue. This is a flat blue. None of these colors are shimmers, except if you want to, like, if you if you say a glitter acrylic is a shimmer, then um, the glitter acrylic is a shimmer then. But these other three colors are flat colors, highly pigmented flat colors. And then that was Nippy Night. This next one is Frostbite. This is our purple. Ooh, and she is Pretty, 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 pretty purple. I love this purple. I love this bag. I'm so excited to get to show you guys this bag. I have yet to never show you guys a bag here on YouTube. I don't really try to do much, um, you know, self-promotion for our brand. I do, you know, throw in little tidbits in nail art videos, but I never really show specific um, products that we have. So I'm so excited to get to do this because this is my favorite bag yet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've showed you guys our minute kit because I love doing my nails and I love that method for doing my own nails. And I wanted to create products that was easy for women to be able to do their own nails beautifully straight out the gate. 
just something that any woman coming in off the streets that says, hey, I want to do my nails. Something that she could buy to be able to do her nails and, you know, not really mess it up. It's pretty, pretty easy method. So I have shown our minute kit, but I've never really showed, um, you know, products or uh, where you just put on display certain products and this product here are mystery bags i have let them go and let our ambassadors and nail sisters and customers show them off but i had to show this one off i had to look at this this is eating snowflakes and if you can see the blue shimmery mylars in there it's it's like this cloudy milky white clear um barely milky white barely but it has these beautiful reflective blue mylars in there and these are very tiny tiny fine mylars they don't stick out they don't they don't go nowhere but then don't you know that's not the only amazingness to this glitter acrylic it glows in the dark this glows in the dark i love putting little special things in our mystery bags and every every bag so far has had cute little tidbits and goodies and i love just getting to surprise people so that is the mystery bag and here is her glow here is her gleam and let's get into these nails here is the entire collection this is baby it's cold <laughs> all right let's get out of my salesperson voice and get into my teacher voice um <clears throat> okay okay so one tip for beginners when you go to file coffin nails if you feel like you filed one side a little bit too much don't try to straighten the other side or try to file the other side more. If you feel like the other side is exactly the way that it's supposed to be, then leave it alone. Because once you add acrylic or any gel dip to the nail, it will naturally bulk out the nail. And it pretty much adds what you accidentally took away, if that makes sense. So when you're filing and making sure that your coffins are straight from the tip, the square tip, all the way up to the natural nail, um, if you accidentally overfile and, you know, one side of the very end of your square tip, if one side of that is, you know, a little bit wonky, don't worry. Once you apply acrylic, you can actually kind of shape a little bit more out on that side. So give yourself a chance to fix it with the acrylic. Don't try to keep over filing. It's not going to help too much. And then when you're applying your colored acrylic, one tip, try to do it in sections and stick to that route every time you do it because it will make you faster and doing it in the same routine every time you start to learn what to expect out of that routine and then you can plan for the worst right as long as you are applying a semi-wet bead tipping your nail down and you're applying in sections you will start to get faster and you will start to realize what you need to do at the very next step if you're doing the same routine every time and you know something was to happen to you every time you go into like the fifth fifth step of that routine, you start learning how to fix it. But if you're doing a different routine every time, then you're going to run into different problems and different steps of the routine every time. And you're never going to learn how to fix those problems. So stick to a routine and make sure when you're applying your acrylic, that you're not trying to apply too dry of a bead. I know all too well when being a beginner acrylic, doing beginner acrylic applications, 
It's too easy to pick up a dry bead. Stop wiping your brush off on the side of the dish. Stop wiping your brush off. Stop being scared to have monomer in your brush, okay? Working a little wetter is a lot better for beginners than working dry. You'll just end up with a bunch of lumpy nails. So, there with the marble. I fake a marble. Don't have me try to teach you how to do a marble. I, I stink at marbles. I just apply like whatever colors I'm marbling. I apply them in super wet beads on top of each other and just pray that they're going to flow down the nail in a marble look. I stink at the swoosh and swirling of the colors. Oh no, no, that's, I, I've stunk at that for the longest. Um, somehow I'm able to achieve marbles by just applying bunches of wet beads and watching them kind of flow. <laughs> All right, so this is our clear cap. I added the glitter from the kit, and now I'm going in with super wet beads of acrylic because I like the clarity of really wet beads. Um, now, by really wet bead, I don't mean I want it dripping off of your brush, but I do mean that I want it to self-level. You want to make sure that your acrylic is self-leveling when you apply it. Otherwise, you're not going to have much time to maneuver it if it's already, you know, stiff and in one place, right? So make sure that your acrylic, when you go to apply it, is actually self-leveling. If it's not, don't apply it. Wipe it off and try again because you want acrylic to self-level for a certain period of time, of course. All right. I'll see you guys back at the nail art. You can watch me apply and yeah, um, I'm going to show you my filing routine, which ways I go. This is the route I go, not the route that you have to go, but it is the same routine that I do every time. So always, you know, just pick a routine and stick with it and you will get better, you will get faster, and you will start knowing what problems you could run into and how to fix them quickly. All right, I will see you at the nail art, okay? See you soon. Oh, wait, subscribe, subscribe, follow, comment, um, ring the bell, ring the bell. My name is Sierra. Hi, are you new here? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Forget this every time. My name is Sierra. I am the owner and CEO of Criminal Claws. If you guys want to check out our products, go to criminalclaws.com. We are a Google verified website. We do sell nail products. Um, we sell amazing nail products. They're great and very great for beginners. That's what they are aimed towards, specifically aimed towards beginners. So go check us out um you won't regret it we got a couple of really cute things on there and i think you might like our december mystery bag so um all right yep that's it subscribe subscribe comment comment oh wait we have a giveaway go back enter the giveaway it says giveaway on the video okay go enter it all right i'll see you soon um at the nail art yeah bye
Bum, bum, bum to the nail art. All right, so we're going to start with a chrome nail. If you guys remember, we had the blue chrome. So we're going to go in with our diamond non-wipe top gel. And we're going to apply a decent layer on our nail. I like to use my top gel to cover any imperfections that I have. I make sure that I use a pretty thick layer. Um, top gel is pretty self-leveling, so it helps to cover any issues. So I cure that for only 10 seconds. You don't want to give it a full cure because you want it to remain slightly tacky so you can burnish in your chrome. Now, when you go to burnish your chrome, you need to make sure that you don't just get it on there. You want to burnish it in. You want to rub and rub and rub until you see no more powder alive. Like you want to rub it out of existence and you want it to look like this velvety, um, velvety metal, if that makes sense. All right. And then now, once we have burnished it all the way in and it looks velvety, we're going to go in with our matte top coat because I plan on using the nail foil on this, but I can't put my nail foil glue over top of my chrome. If anything happens and it messes up, I want to be able to wipe the nail foil glue off and I don't want my chrome to go anywhere. So I am putting the matte top coat on so then it will be ready for nail art. Now here we're going in with our foil glue and I'm just applying a thin layer of foil glue and once I've applied it I will cure it for 60 to 90 seconds and once it is cured I will let it sit outside of the light for about a minute and sometimes I'm sitting there like waving at it with my hand to get it to air dry because it can only cure so much in the lamp, but that inhibition layer that's left on top, the sticky layer, it actually is able to air dry a little bit more. And you don't want it too sticky or nothing sticks into it. The stickiness just pulls away. So you want to make sure that you not only cure it, but you want to let it air dry also. And that will help you get a better foil transfer. All right? All right. So I'm going to let you go on a couple of these. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. But what's funny is um, I ended up switching out the design on the ombre. I ended up going in with chrome on that one too. So yeah, the ombre ends up getting chromed. But it's really cool because you can see the ombre through the chrome. If you look at the final results, you can see the ombre through the chrome. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. The rest of the video is just chroming and, you know, just adding little tiny details. Um, I suck at the little swirly loop lines. <laughs> the first one I did suck, so I went in and had to redo it. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for enjoying these nails, even though Alice's hands are crappy, crazy looking. Um, she's not the best hand model. I'm hoping to get a new hand model. Cross your fingers. She's, um, yeah, cross your fingers. I don't want to give too much away. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. You guys can watch and see the finished result and the glow because if you noticed, I put, I put the glow acrylic on the middle finger. What is it if you can't make a statement? Jeez. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I'll see you again next time. Make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell. All right? All right. Bye.